to do, but we have to do it. Classroom, mobile clinic. Yes, I'm with Marianita sisters, some nurses, and Amelia, one of the representatives of the sponsors for this mobile clinic. So, another day going around, going around, going around. <laughs> Hi, Edgaga. Welcome back. Good, good, good. So we are here at our destination today. This is a mobile clinic. This is Sister Consuelo and the rest of the crew. And our clinic is very special because it's under the tree. I decided to make this vlog to talk about something personal. Personal in the sense that I will be talking about one of my struggles, if not two of my struggles, if not three of my struggles here in Kenya. But to tell you the truth, this struggle began when I was still in the Philippines. Uh, for almost three years of priesthood, I have accumulated some things and to leave them behind or to dispose them or to give them away was somehow a struggle. What will remain? What will I give? What will I give? Something like that. That's also part of the struggle. Uh, go to school, you just don't need allowance. You need food. So whenever there is school, there is kitchen. Kitchen. Cooking for food. Sa mga estudyante. Bye! Puntan muna natin ang classroom. Here, we have already reached the classroom. This is the classroom. This is the classroom. But sad to say, I've learned that uh, there is no supply of food from the government or NGO. So, no food, no class. No class, no children. No education. <music> Yes, they do have trees in here. They do also have river, but this is what we call seasonal river because seasonal. When there is rain, there is water. When there is no rain, there is no water. My second struggle when I left the Philippines last 28th of January is that starting from scratch. I have to appreciate the culture, I have to learn the language, I have to eat new dishes. It's like going, mag-umpisa, mag-umpisa talaga. So that for me is somehow, although I am adapting slowly, poly poly, I can manage somehow, but that is really a struggle for me right now. <laughs> For sure, mas madaling mag-adapt sa, sa Pilipinas. Mas madali. Mas madali. But so long there is coffee, I'm gonna be okay.
Pero sino naman nagsabi na magiging madali ang lahat? So, if I could still identify one struggle I have right now is really it's all about the willingness and trust. Willingness that uh, since nag-volunteer ako, uh, I will pursue. Since na I said trusting ako, I will trust more in the grace of God. Nandun ako ngayon. But, wala namang bago doon. I think lahat ng lahat ng mission merong ganun bagay. So, what is left for me is to continue. Continue is because eto lang I think ang isa na nakikita ko ngayon na napakalaking tulong sa akin to continue in this mission. Even though I am in a very very different 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 place right now. I have to continue.